Hello there everyone on the internet. Today I'm going to talk about creating image ads for display with no creative resources. So there's a lot of times um, where you or your boss or your client wants to run um, display on um, in your Google AdWords account and you don't have the funds to hire an outside designer or you don't have the knowledge yourself to design a display ad or you don't have the software to design a display ad. So that happens a lot. Um, so, and I think that people just forget that there is a way to do display ads without any creative resources. So really anybody who has no design background could use these um, display ad builders and, and make a pretty decent display ad. So I'm just going to kind of go through why image ads are even worth your time. You might be running text ads on display and think that they're doing pretty well and not even know why you should bother doing image ads. So. I did an analysis of three accounts um, here at Hannapin Marketing, and I just compared image to text ads in the same sort of campaign over a long period of time, so that way that the data is really clean and really similar and there's enough of it to judge on. Um, and what I found is really consistent um, through both, or all three of these accounts. You see a higher click through rate in all three of these accounts for image ads. So, image ads are always going to have a higher click through rate than text ads. Um, and then the other metric that is higher um, for image ads in all three of these accounts is sum of conversions per 100,000 impressions. And that's an important metric because if you just look at conversion rate, um, it's really misleading because you could see, oh, well, text has a higher conversion rate, 1.83. Um, compared to 1.42 for that first table and that might make me think without um, looking at conversion per 100,000 impressions that text is better, it's going to give me more conversions, but it's really not because the click-through rate is so much lower. Um, and then you also have to take into account just um, the time period uh, for both of these image and text ads in this first table are the same and there's so many more impressions and clicks for image than there are text. Um, so not only is the click-through rate greater, but also just the number of impressions gathered is greater for image. Um, and that might just be because um, we're targeting more websites that are more readily to, more ready to accept image ads than text ads, or that there's just more places out there for image ads. Uh, it really depends on what you're doing, but um, it's pretty consistent for all three of these accounts that the sum of conversion per 100,000 impression is um, a lot greater. Um, for the first one, it's almost double, and for the second one it's almost double and for the third one it's a little bit lower but in the third one we can see the cost per conversion is actually lower um, and slightly higher in the first two but the click-through rate is always higher as well and uh, the number um, of conversions for the those first two are, are higher as well so you can see it's really if you're really looking to get conversion volume um, you want image ads on the display network if you're doing display so your first step um, is to really figure out your strategy, and I like to think of three different main categories when I'm thinking about display image strategy. For marketing, you really want to make sure that you match the aesthetic of your image ad with your site as much as you can. Um, people are familiar with your website um, that you're remarketing to, so if they see your image ad, they're likely to have some sort of response to it based on their interaction with your website if it's aesthetically similar. Um, you want to keep the message messaging branded, so just make sure that you have your logo or you talk about your um, logo or your um, whatever your website's called in the image ad and then if you have any of your marketing coupon messages you can still use those they're still really great to use it in um, the image ads for e-commerce I always think it's really great to segment by product with specific product images that just makes it as targeted as possible so people know exactly what they're seeing and what they're landing on um, and if you are price competitive you could include your prices so we'll walk through the templates in a minute but there are some um, ways to include prices for specific products. So um, let's say, for instance, you're targeting um, a craft website and you have craft furniture, um, then you can have prices for your different craft furniture and different um, product images for the different 
craft furniture so people in the craft site would see the craft furniture and then they could see how um, price competitive or not price competitive you are and, and of course if you're price competitive it's very attractive for them um, to click through to your website. And for non e-commerce, um, the segmenting with is really this sort of the same thing. It, just however your account structure is laid out, if you go by service or by market, um, just make sure that your images are tailored just the same to those services or markets. Um, and if you need to pre-qualify on software as a service or whatever lead gen um, that you're doing, maybe you're doing um, education lead gen, then um, Maybe you could qualify what a degree starts at um, or what an average person takes out in student loans to get a degree at your school that you're advertising for. Um, and that's just going to help kind of weed out people who um, are looking for different price points. And you still want to use the best performing benefit and features. There's still places for text in display ads. So if you have um, a call to action or a benefit or a feature that works super well for you in text ads, definitely try it out for your display ads. And then the next step, you want to pick images. Um, so like I said for marketing, pick branded images. Really brand heavy images are important. Um, E-commerce commerce, if you're not targeting something specific like I talked about on the last slide, um, you can always look through analytics for your best sellers. So just look for your best selling products. Obviously those are really popular to buy. So using them for a generic ad um, would be a good idea. Um, and then also you can look for a product page with the highest page views or entrances because just because something sells the best doesn't necessarily mean it's the most attractive thing. Um, people, of course, want things that they can't have a lot. So if there's something that people um, seem to really interact with and um, be really drawn to, even if they're not buying it as much as something else, it could still be something to get a better click-through rate for your website on your image ads. Um, and then non ecom just pick over the images on the site. You can stay branded um, and you could find situational images that match the surface. So like if maybe if you're generating leads for a funeral home, you could find images on the website of people being comforted by loved ones or um, green pastures or whatever works for your website will probably work for your display ads. Um, and it's a little cut off right here, but um, for me, somebody at, at an agency working with um, different clients with different resources, um, I tend to use screenshots when I don't have um, good images provided by the client. Transparent PNG images are always really good because you can put them on whatever background you want to and, and it'll look really nice. Um, but white backgrounds are okay too. You can always just make the background white or um, whatever color as long as it's consistent with the color in the background. You don't want something that looks like you just pulled it off a website and cropped it even if that's what you did. But hopefully your client or your boss or you have some nice images that you can use that are transparent PNG back, background files. Um, and so then step three, you just want to pick a template. And so this is a screenshot. We'll get into the actual template builder in just a second. But this is just a screenshot of what it looks like when you first go in to make a display ad builder. And you can see there's lots of different options. So I'm just going to go on since we plan on building one live. Um, so I really suggest starting with the suggested ads. Um, if you just click on the suggested ads, it will, depending on what ad group you're in, so you have to be in a display campaign and in a display ad group. So if this is going to be your first display um, campaign, you need to go ahead and build it out before you can try to build these ads and see what they look like. But it will pull off of your text ad um, the text that you use and then um, it'll scroll your website for images. And so here I just went into our um, AdWords campaign for HeroConf that we have going on. Um, and you can see that it pulled from a text ad and it says world class speakers, register now. Um, and you can also see that there are a couple spaces uh, or a couple of ads where it, some text got cut off um, and that's what's really cool about the display ad builder is that you can edit these you don't have to just take what they give you and then if you save them you can come back later and edit them and make a new ad as well so I think that that's something that I really like about the display ad builder so let's go ahead and get into one of these okay So you can see here, if I go to suggested, 
takes a minute, it scans your site, it selects some images, customizes your style. And it gives you some suggestions. And it's taking a very long time. I apologize. But you can see it tells you, it shows you what the animation is. So if I say, okay, I think that this one is pretty cool, but I definitely need to edit it, you can click on it. And then you can come up here and change the headline. So you can see the text is not fit in highlighted sizes. So it's really cool that it tells you that. Um, so maybe up here I would want to change this to, since I already have hero comp, um, maybe I would just put like PPC only conference up here and then social events, world class speakers, Austin, Texas. So maybe I just want to change this to an and. And then maybe I don't like this white background. Maybe I want to make it black. Oh, whoops, that's not the background. Boop. So yeah, you can change whatever you want here and change the name. And um, you can preview all the different sizes. And then if I want to go back and make something else. I can see I wanted to show you guys the retail product showcasing one. So these are some of the ones that I use for e-com clients. You've probably seen them on the web all over the place. Um, so this one just allows you to pick all these different products. And then for each product, you can put a description and a landing page. So if somebody wants to go to that specific product, you can put the product landing page here. And you have a place for a headline, you have a product or a place for a description for each product. And then you have a place for your own logo, display URL and destination URL, and then you can name the ad. So that way you can come back and find it later. You can change these background colors to whatever you want. That's fun. <laughs> okay, so basically I just wanted to show you guys this, um, and I wanted to show you some resources if you want to take a look at that too. Um, just one of these articles, this one here, um, is a Google resource page for a display ad builder. It'll take you through some technical things if you have any questions. Um, and this is an article they wrote a while back about how to make great remarketing image ads in three steps. So feel free to check that out if you're looking to make remarketing image ads. Um, and hopefully you are a little more educated about how to use a display ad builder and how to go about finding um, a strategy and implementing a strategy for your um, Google Display Network image ads if you have no creative resources. So thanks for listening and have a great day, guys.